Welcome to another edition of Damn TV with Damn Sam. Afternoon, everybody, from uh, Tankersley in Barnsley, Sheffield, whatever you want to say. Um, we call it Barnsley. Um, they might call it Sheffield. Today's job is um, got called on Saturday to have a look at it. They've just had this room all skimmed out, plasters done a, done a good job, skimming, really good quality skimming, all, everything's bang on, nice and smooth, no scabs, made a really good job. But what had happened is, um, I have showed you it before, I've got some photos, I'll put, put them on. Um, you've got salts all coming down here after he'd done his work. So, power's a deduction, so they asked a few questions, what, what he put on, um, and backing that he'd put on, because the plaster had blown, so he hacked it off and put car like bonding in, which is, if you've seen videos before, you'll know that we say, hold below the ground, don't use car, car light bonding or any gypsum products, because uh, if there's any salts in brickwork, they'll just, um, they'll react with them and they'll come through and uh, they absorb moisture. So what you've got is you've got like a, you've got a line going down that way, emanating from, from this corner, and then same way the other way, and then down in that back corner. But one of the things that, um, that I also noticed when I, when I came up to John, because what I do is, it's like any surveyor, what you do is, you start looking at property, um, looking for gutters that are leaking and things like that. So as you come into knock on the door, you, you, you're already, you've already started your survey. Um, and next door's house is slightly higher. It's, it's about one course higher. So their concrete floor is sort of where that bottom course is. And uh, we've just put down course in before. They drilled and injected into bricks, but they do it on that bottom course, which which is, which is from course really, it needs to be the top course. And then it needs a, like a, a waterproof barrier on the bottom. So that's why we've, we've put the uh, dry base uh, uh, liquid damp membrane. So that's gone on there. Again, chimney breast, sulfate, so we've put that on. That's getting a different system. We're going to, we're going to stick boards on that. So again, when I came to look at it, they had skirting, so I did not think this had plaster. Um, so we started hacking off and realised it's, it's, it's quite thin. Um, it's too thin to get a board on. So I don't know how these go on with sticking plastic on, um, counter drainage membrane. Because I think minim minimum you can get of that is like, is it five mil, three mil? But then you've got nine mil of board, um, which is uh, nine and a half mil, which is your thinnest board. So uh, that takes you up to 12 and a half and it's, it's less than that in places. So you could have been stuck out and they'd have had to do a full wall or they'd have left a ridge and it'd look a mess. So that's the reason why we've, um, I've been back to the yard and had a look through stuff that we've got. Um, and decided to go in <coughs> with uh, render light, which is limelight. Uh, and after looking on Sovereign's site, Sovereign's uh, website, I've not noticed it before and I've never been told, but now they've started uh, saying that you've got to put uh, SPR in with mix. That amount of SPR that they say to put in, um, I ain't putting that much in. It's like half a five litre, two, two and a half litres or something like that, which is ridiculous. So we've put we've put a fair bit in, but not, not that much. And then we've damped walls down and we've put um, We've put it in, in uh, damping down water. So put SPR in damping down water as well. Um, and I'm just going to rattle it on now. So I'll just give it five minutes so you can watch me in for a treat. So today, I'm going to be using my ox, ox trowel, which is, uh, I think it's 18 inch that. Um, Proper plasters and board, like I said before. Not a pointed handboard like the majority of plasters use. And we use that for the for smaller areas. But it shouldn't take me long to rattle it on, so we'll see how I go on.
It is good. It seems to be better with this SBI. We have used it before we are after him. And it does seem to go on better. So the tip for you here as well, with plug sockets, just put some uh, tape around it. So if you drop any, any plaster, it can go onto, onto the top of um, the wires going and not blow up. The fuse, the fuse blowing. If you drop any, always pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> just ready, just in
And that's how you wrap the plaster on in a quick fashion. So what we'll do now is uh, we'll just scratch it up, uh, and I'm going to put these. I'm going to put these two sides on. We'll stick them on with acrylic. Um, get them on, and then scratch them up. By the time I've done that. We'll give that bit a knock up in um, in bucket, make it a bit thinner, and then put another coat on, level it up, and uh, 
and that's it. Wait for it to wait for it a bit, then rub it up, um, get it all straight, and then uh, that's it. Clear up, and then we're away. So uh, that's why we know what we're doing, and that's why we're best. I bet. So uh, right, please subscribe. Stick hit your subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. They'll help you if you've got damp in your property, or if you. Um, if you're in damp industry plastering and you want to get into doing something like this, um, just contact me and, and send me an email and let me know what you want and I'll uh, point you in the right direction. All right, that's Damp Sam signing off and uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Bye bye. Right, second coit. I know I weren't, I weren't going to do this, but uh, a little bit of time left so you can watch. Uh, it's been upset and quiet. So just not this a little bit. As you notice, we put these on all the way to The can I put back in on. That's all I know. All I know is uh, Dr. Gavin. That's why that's probably the ideal for him. That system. You've got to make it in both. Grand, great, 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 great grandkids who are watching this. This is how we made us millions. Unless that's what he spent it all. I used to think that uh, the great, 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 great grandkids were probably watching this. Apparently, it's going to stop on YouTube.
monetize it, isn't it? <laughs> well, we're just watching it now, man. We're watching it on its millionth view. We just have to check now. And I'll, be, uh, I'll be six foot under, so I have hunger here. <laughs> I ain't got that long anyway, left, I don't think. Uh, on it, I'm, what am I? 50, 52 now, 53, end of this month. Probably got another, whew, another 60 years. So another 60 years of the videos. 110, I think, 110, 115, probably check it out. Still a few things to do before I fire, so just enough time for that, another 60 years. Hopefully I'll still be as fit as I am now. One thing about plastic is it keeps you fit. Well, it keeps some plastic fit. Oh yeah, big balls are good there. A shout out to uh, Miss M because I, I do watch my videos about it. I know it's a, it's a strange one, but uh, there's no better than watching somebody working. I'm fascinated by it. I love doing Jack Down for that much that I watch it about Miss M. So, hiya Sam, how you doing? You alright, Paul? That's what the difference is between me and my job. And some of these other damn companies. A lot of them don't, uh, they don't like doing what they're doing. Yes, I love it. I've been my job for God knows how many years. Not better than uh, solving people's damn pursuits. I'm getting paid for it. So you yeah, have it. All sorted. Throw it from this end. So you got uh, backing plaster on. James is doing to get on camera that one. So uh, backing plaster on. Fast system on the side of the chimney. We um, damp uh, liquid DPM on it. Uh, stop any sulfates coming through. PVA tops. I'm just gonna cut them. Well, I'll rub the rub these up like I've done that one, and then uh, put these ready. 
get the clean up and uh, and that's it. So uh, I don't know whether to wait until tomorrow to put some pictures of skimming on, but I uh, hope you found it interesting and please subscribe, like I said in the last video. Thanks for watching another edition of Dam TV with Dam Sam. Please subscribe and please like the channel.